Hello. Okay, so I've been doing a lot of this work for a few years, and I'm pretty conscious and aware of my thoughts. Can anyone feel a big butt coming on? <laughs> and with creating, because if it's not one specific thing that you're trying to create and you just have this very dimensional view of what it is that you desire to create, do you think of all the dimensions specifically and kind of spend a, you know, time on your family dimension and then on your money dimension and then on your relationship dimension? And, or do you just kind of visualize it all at the same time and feeling good within it and then that is a better or, or a more effective way of actualizing it? Well, it depends. If there's an aspect that when you think about it, it really gets your juices flowing and makes you feel good, then spend more time on that. Mm -hmm. The rule of thumb is, mm -hmm. when you are general, you're usually less resistant. For example, when you say, I want a lot more money and I know that in time a lot more money is coming, that's a much more downstream statement than I need $100,000 by Friday. Mm. <laughs> So you make the statement that feels the least resistant to you. Here's the thing that a lot of people don't quite understand. We've touched on it briefly here today, but let's really go after this because it's really at the heart of what you just asked. Step one is you ask. And you've been asking and asking and asking. You've been asking about your body and your family and your work and your career and your lovers. You've been asking, you've been asking, you've been asking, you've been asking on all that myriad of subjects. You've been asking. And your vibrational escrow is all framed up, beautiful and ready for you to come into vibrational alignment with it. Mm. So when you do your thinking about things, you're not thinking about them to mal make them happen. You're not thinking about them to tell the universe what you want. You've already told the universe what you want. You're thinking about them with the singular reason of bringing yourself into vibrational alignment with them. You're not doing your affirmations or writing your scripts about what you want or setting your goals because the universe is standing out there scratching its head not knowing what to give you because they're totally baffled about who you are and where you're going. There's no confusion about who you are and where the larger part of you is already gone. So all of those exercises that you are applying are every single one of them to help you close the gap, to close the gap, to close the gap. So the, what you ask yourself is, is this making me feel better? Is this game I'm playing making making me feel better? Is this thought making me feel better? Most of you take the thing that you've been struggling with the most and you give it your undivided attention. And when you take the thing that you've been struggling with the most and you give it your undivided attention, then you use that one bugaboo to hold yourself in resistance on all those other things. Mm. Where if instead you could take something that's going well and give that your undivided attention, now you're using something that lines you up as your reason to focus, which means you're lined up, which means now you're doing the thing that you need to do in order to allow the universe to now yield to you the final manifestations of all of those things that you have been wanting. Mm. We want to give you a few statements here to, to just keep rolling over in your mind that are general in nature, but they are so powerfully true that as you ponder them and remember them, they will hold you in a place of allowing more things to come to you. Life is supposed to be good for you. And you have done a wonderful job of lining things up. And all that is is aware of you and focused upon your vibrational escrow and holding the tone for that. And the larger part of you is right there holding that tone too. So that when you get in the vicinity of it, you feel better. And when you stray from it, you feel worse. And when you focus deliberately toward it, you feel really good. When you give it your undivided attention, you soar with eagerness and enthusiasm. When you think thoughts of opposition, you crash and burn. When you think thoughts that are in alignment with it, you feel fabulous. The emotions within you are your very best friend. Whether they are negative emotions or positive emotions, they are your very best friend because they are your indicator of whether you are turning into or away from who you really are and what you've really become. You see, even a sickness that you have is a wonderful, friendly indicator that lets you know the vibrational content and gives you opportunity to do something about it. It's not a hard thing to shift thoughts. It's an easy thing to shift thoughts. You don't have to shift them all at once. You don't need to, and you couldn't even if you wanted to. So just shift your thoughts one at a time. Be very easy about it. Make lists of the things that are easy to feel good about and focus upon them often. And when something comes up that you don't feel good about, don't shy away from it in an attitude of ah I've got to get away from that instead 
take note that there's something that you want to tend to but don't necessarily tend to it right then in other words reach for your positive alignment and then from your positive alignment go back and readdress that sometimes it seems that you get the old one two three punch where something doesn't go right and then something else doesn't go right and then something really goes wrong and it feels hard for you to get hold of something that will really work for you but it is not a difficult thing because the entire universe is on your side and rooting for you to get what you want you just have to relax and stop throwing the hissy fit that you're not getting what you want right this minute in other words that's the thing that's going wrong with so many of you you so want what you want and you innately know that you should get it and when you're not getting it there's this feeling of injustice that is so pervasive that it makes you just sort of freak out and you just gotta freak out less frequently and 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 not be so hard on yourself when you do it and then remind yourself everyone is on my side in other words the source the resources is all coming together for me because my life is supposed to go well and things are supposed to be good for me and life is supposed to be fun and I am supposed to feel ease and things are supposed to work out for me and things are working out for me and when I look at it more is working out than isn't and there is much more of a balance of evidence of things going well for me than not and I like being a nitpicker I like being spoiled so rotten that I sort of have a meltdown when every little, little thing isn't going right because that means that the larger part of me does acknowledge that things are supposed to go very well but I'm resilient I can deal with this I can line up with this I can find my way I can tune into who I am I can find it I do it often I do it all the time not every time don't need to do it every time I do it often I'm doing it most of the time I'm doing it frequently I'm doing it chronically I'm feeling good much of the time things are going my way everything's working out all right for me the universe is on my side my vibrational escrow is alive and well source is focused upon it my inner being within me is there when I feel negative emotion it just means I'm turned the other way I can turn back that way and if I don't no big deal I can hold myself apart I can be as miserable as I decide to be I can be as sick as I decide to be but at any point I decide I can turn around I'm in charge of this everything's all right there's nothing to worry about everything's working all right the universe is on my side my inner beings on my side my vibrational escrow is alive and well I just need to turn in the direction of it it's fun in moving toward things it doesn't have to all manifest right now I wouldn't want it to all manifest right now I like it to manifest in bits and pieces I like knowing that I'm on the flow of it I like coming up with new ideas I like turning and going in the direction of it I like feeling tuned in tapped in turned on with source I like feeling the joy of source flowing through me I like knowing that all is well I like this contrasting life in which I live I like living this life I like all of it I like who I am I like what I'm doing I like where I am I like where I'm going good time for a segment of refreshment <laughs> yeah. thank you very much